I got the I got a bit of a concussion last yeah, week. And a slight concussion. Of the Lord. And they, of course, wasn't the only wrestler. The guy who was the real center of the attack was uh, the online champion, Frank White. And we're going to get that update now for what's happened to the online champion, Frank White, how he's doing from John Stone. Well, folks, I'm standing back here with Dr. Nick, and of course, we all saw what happened last week. The horrible, horrible attack by the warden on current UWC Online Champion Frank Wyatt. And Dr. Nick, what's the prognosis on Frank Wyatt right now? Well, I can't really go into too much detail due to doctor-patient confidentiality, but I can say this. Uh, Frank Wyatt is going to be out at least three to four weeks because of the uh, extensive injuries that he sustained due to the attack by the warden. Um, he will be back in action at some point. And uh, I have spoken to him, he is resting, he is doing well, but uh, with any injury, it just takes time. Well, thank you very much, Dr. Nick, I appreciate it. No Frank White, if you're out there watching, we hope you heal up fast, man. This isn't any wrestling. This is UWC Online, now available on UPTV Channel 6. So you might as well throw your remote away because every Wednesday night at 10.30 p.m. you can relive all of your favorite moments from UWC Season 1 and 2. UWC Online on UPTV. You don't have to be a blockhead to enjoy it. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Kyle James, standing by backstage in the battle zone with one of the four competitors for tonight's main event, Alice Castle. And Castle, tonight you are in a fatal four-way match for a shot at the UWC Heavyweight Championship at UWC 7. What are your thoughts on that? I've been doing a lot of thinking in the off-season, and I've come to realize that part of my problem is that I get obsessed with things and I don't let things go. See, I, I beat Frank Wyatt, and that could have been the end of that. But I didn't let it go. I had to beat him again. And then I beat Tornado Jones twice, and I could have been done with that, but I had to beat him again. I just don't let things go. And I'm done with that. I'm letting go of not letting go. So tonight, I'm going to beat three other men, and I'm going to get my shot at UWC 7 at the Heavyweight Championship. And I'm going to beat Harker Dirge. And after I'm done with Harker Dirge, after I let go of him, anybody on the roster, you can have a shot, but just one. And then just like this interview, you're done. And it's our first look at this uh, new tag team, Aaron Martin. And it's going to be... Uh, Joey O'Reilly and Tornado Jones here against Cal Piper and Taylor Cassidy. We saw Piper make his debut last week. Did not come out on top. We'll see how he does with this partner, Cassidy. But Cassidy's going to be in first. Off. Cassidy's going to 
Cassidy taking on Joey O'Reilly. And uh, certainly the size difference will favor the team, uh, Piper and Cassidy. But there is no doubt the speed factor is in the other corner. No doubt at all. Tornado Jones made his debut last year and uh, he is a very quick, very aerial guy. Well, both of these wrestlers are. You can see Boots quickly. And O'Reilly catches him. Spinning kick sends him into the corner. And O'Reilly's going straight after him. Oh. Talented feet. Just landing right to the short ribs on the left side. And then a pop right to the face. O'Reilly throws him up. Reverses into the ropes. Come off. Misses a big clothesline there. Flying. Cassidy, you know, Piper's talking to the fans, look around, his partner's out of the ring. And again, you don't want to play a game of speed against the speed merchants. That's exactly what all. he did. Take him down and beat on him a little bit. We've seen this. O'Reilly is has very little fear of going up and sacrificing his body. And Tornado Jones is just a crazy man. I would venture to say that very little is even too strong. No fear. No fear at all. That's what Joey O'Reilly has locked up right here in the center of the ring. Yeah. Now O'Reilly going with an arc. Oh, quick, quick chop right across that shoulder blade. And a reversal. Well done. Oh, nice little chain wrestling there into the side headlock. Good job. Now he needs to use that size advantage. Nope. Doesn't take advantage of it. O'Reilly. Couple shots that got into the ropes. Coming off. And there you go. Shoulder block. Big guy's gonna win that time. Up and over. Tries the toss. Not gonna go. Kick to the gut. Flip. Swing and a miss. Spinning back kick. Down he goes. Put him right to the ground with that boot to the face. Big, big shot. Uh, didn't he miss Just it? missed. Just missed. with O'Reilly. O'Reilly is not uh, is not above going between the two shortest points to get his point across. He's a very aggressive wrestler. That he is. There's a tag. Wow, Piper getting into the ring now. Dark. Right to the pin. Good job that time. O'Reilly takes him down. Keeps the big man down. Pounds him on him. Stops to make the tag with the tornado. Oh, look out! And he lands himself in a cover. One, no. That's what the problem they're going to have, being a, as light as they are. They're really going to have to put their man away if they're going to get the pin. Tornado Jones coming in with a flurry of energy. Two big drop kicks. Is he looking for a third one? And he lands another one. So that's he's taking the big man down. Going up to the top. Second row looking for... Oh! Thrown across the ring. Just gets tossed off that time. And momentum working against him. Look at this. The big man throwing him around like a sack of potatoes. Just stomped to the midsection. And here's where the problem comes in. Just field goal kicking his ribs right now. Yep. When you take the big guy, big guy gets the little guy down on the mat, and that's where he needs to keep him. And that's where he's got him. Well, you have to keep two people like O'Reilly and Jones down on the mat because when they get up on those turnbuckles, they are as dangerous as anybody. Oh, absolutely. Going into the corner. Good job that time. That's another thing that they need to do. Tornado Jones is a very high energy guy. So is Joey O'Reilly. They need to cut the ring in half and keep him in the ring. That's right. Don't let him make that tag. Do not let the momentum swing. Kick out the other team's time. favor. That's right. Don't take them lightly on the coverage. You got them down. Finish them off. Get up. Jones got a foot up. The boot. Goes up to that second rope. Drops him. But can he do anything with it? Is the problem? Both wrestlers down. The damage has clearly been done to Tornado Jones. He really needs to make a tag right now. Joey O'Reilly is chopping at the bit over there in the corner to get him this match. Yeah, both wrestlers are over halfway away. Both trying to make it. There's 
one tag and the second tag. Here Here comes O'Reilly. Spinning jump kick off the ropes. Get one him one. again. Checking to see whether or not he's still got his feet now right in the midsection. Here's a double team move. Trying to set something up. Thompson. Tornado Jones gets the tag up over the lands. That could be all. Nope, wait a second. O'Reilly's going up. To the second rope. And he lands. And the cover. Nope, oh, gets the right man on. Two, three, and that's it. O'Reilly went for the cover. He wasn't the legal man. Got a little too overzealous right there. Well, at that point, it really didn't matter who was covering. So maybe you've seen the beginning of a future dominant tag team in the UWC, but they've got their work cut out for them. The rough cut is big and fast, and it's going to be tough for a team of their size to do it. We'll see. A lot more coming up in our main event in just a moment. Stay tuned. UWC Online has got itself a brand new sponsor. Of course, I'm talking about the FNX Network. You can visit them online, fnx.network. They've got a lot of fantastic articles on there. They've got podcasts. They've got shows. Dr. Nick Slamcast, The World's Almost Finest Podcast, Wrestle Radio Australia, Shoot the Defense, and so much more. But thanks to them, we can now bring you the FNX Recap of the Week. Infinite Power. Right in the middle of the ring. Now what was all that about? 
Team Rough Cut just planted Aaron Matthews right the center of the ring. Was free. See, my hair is long, a sign of my freedom. But these men, these devils, to them we are all scullions, people of dirt. They will grow rich, and we will be. I have to to be conquered. You're gonna like him. Main event coming up, you made a four way with four guys who can definitely take this match. I mean, you've got Travis Spear who won his way to the Horizon Cup on that one. was doing a great job on his own. Had an injury problem last year for a while, but bounced back from that. You've got Mark Vandy who has very quickly become one of the more dangerous wrestlers in the UWC. Long, lanky guy, but not afraid to throw around. You've got one of the more devious wrestlers that uh, UWC has ever seen in that Alice Castle. That guy would, uh, would drop kick his own mom if he had a chance to. And, and uh, you've got Cecil Cervais there. You've seen last year he already got himself in the UWC heavyweight picture. Who do you got? Uh, I think me personally, I mean, it's a hard choice because there's four very top contenders in the UWC. Uh, but for me personally, I think uh, what you said, I think I've got to go with Alex Castle. Like you said, he drop kick his own mom. That means he's willing to do everything he needs to do to win this type of matchup. It's his element, it's chaos, it's viciousness. I've got to go with Alex Castle. Yeah, I would think so. But, you know, it's, it's four people in this match. And if Alex Castle gets too focused on one guy, he might, uh, it, it could go in, in which way. It's very tough to do. I'm going to give an edge to Cecil Cervasive because these guys knew Everybody else was going to be in the match. They didn't know Cecil Cervasi was going to be in it. Maybe he can ride a little bit of momentum in this one. We've got that main event coming up next here on UWC Online. Here we go with this fatal four-way main event. Mark Vandy, Travis Weir, Alex Castle, and Cecil Cervasi. Cecil just getting in everybody's face right now. Well, and Cecil's the one who wasn't originally scheduled in the match. And he takes the boot from Alex Castle. Alex Castle shut him up real quick, didn't he? Yeah, and Alex Castle's actually getting a little applause for that. That's something I'm sure he's not used to. Well, this crowd, crowd doesn't like Alex Castle. They hate Cecil Cervasi. Yeah, they're not big fans of Mr. Vandy either. Remember, a fatal four-way means eliminated one at a time. And now they're just, they're just letting, letting uh, Castle have his way with Mr. Cervasi. Whoa! Wow! What a big boot to the face. Took his jaw right off. kind of staying out of the action right now. Yes, Jim. Taking it easy. Mark Vandy, an interesting man to talk to outside the ring. I mean, once you get past all of the political stuff. Vandy decided he's just say he's just gonna, he's gonna set this one out. This one up. Yep, and Teresa tries to sneak attack him and gets thrown right into the ring. Oop. Now it's back and forth. It's Cerveza Pong. And down he goes. He doesn't wonder why he got himself into this. Well, this is unfair treatment right now. Supposed to be every man for himself. Well, how about that? Mark Vandy taking, him, taking Alex Castle out of the ring. Travis Weir scooping up. Cecil Cerveza down to the mat. Oh yeah. And here it comes. Yeah, oh, got blindsided. <laughs> well, I gotta give him credit for that. 
Mark and, Vandy just putting the boots to him. Yeah, Vandy saw that uh, Weir was going for the uh, BSE or the elbow and just absolutely walloped him from behind. Alex Cass is trying to collect himself outside of the ring as is the basis. Yeah, that's the way to do it. Don't get in there unless you absolutely have to. Now, we're reversing on Vandy into the corner. Yeah, oh, look out. Big splash in the corner. Yeah. Oh, and now knees both ways. And forearms both ways. Looks like... Whoa. Plants it. One, two, no. Yeah, it just about had a minus one castle there. Chavez and Castle working pretty well there for a while. Cecil Chavez is showing everybody that it is indeed every man for himself off the ropes. Running knee lift to the side of the head. Oh, going to try to roll the dice, but not having it. Look at that, and the bridge, beautiful, too. Uh, Mark Vandy. Uh, was that two? Was that yeah, that, two? Was a, that was a two that count, two. Mark Vandy. Uh, Why in the world that? would Vandy have stopped it? <laughs> Why wouldn't you? I believe this is one fall. First one to get a pinfall wins this match, I believe. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Vanny just... If that's the case, and he needs to get in there and start getting some pinfall action. Travis, we're trying to fight back. Vanny with a fight. vicious assault in there. Might have knocked himself a little silly there. That's the second time he's tried that, and it hasn't really worked out for the Alex battle. Castle assaulting Cecil the base on the outside. Mark Vandy going up. Whoa. Vandy going up to that top rope. And then going down to the turnbuckle in such a way that uh, you should not show the children. Stinging right hand from Travis Weir. Travis Weir gonna follow him up, it seems. Yeah, what's going on here? A big fella going up. Is this gonna be a superplex? Looks like that's what he's going for. Oh, man. He's setting it up. And, uh, setting, 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 setting. Yeah, Castle going over. Oh, cuts that off. No, oh, no, no, Oh, wow. No. Power bomb superplex. Oh my gosh, check and see whether the ring is still there. It moved a good three, four inches on that. Now Cervezo has the opportunity. Knee. Now covered Vandy. Two, no. That's going to cover Weir now. One, two, no. He's going to try maybe Castle. He's got two. He's mine, he says. Whoops, swing and a miss. Look out. Look out. Go. Brought him right into that knee. Down he goes. He's out. One, two. Bandy oh. saving the match for himself. Yeah. No, oh, he gets him right in the down. Well, that is vicious there. And cross right face. Cross, cross face. face. Boy, that's really tough, the big man. A big, tall individual really stretching that shoulder out. Should break it right now. Castle's trying to fight over, trying to roll it up and over. Doing a good job of working into the hold, and he gets out of it and breaks it up into an ankle lock. Oh, very well done by Castle. Mark Vandy in a lot of pain right now in the middle of the ring. Cecil Zavasa trying to stir to his feet. Travis Weir. He is trying to figure out where he is. Travis Weir's in a lot of pain. Oh. Here comes Cesar Cesar Cesar. Cesar. Take him down. And what's this? Bossy Crab? They've turned him over. Yeah. He doesn't quite have Almost it. Almost lost him. Almost has him. He's half Crab. Not quite there yet. He's got him over. And Weir. What a kick to the head. Boots him. Brings him up. Oh. Racks him. This is a torture rack. He's got him in a torture rack. I don't think I've seen that. Oh. Good move. Just about 
decapitated Travis Weir. Weir disappointed, but the man with a big V. Complications aside, this here. This, these are the shoes that I'm wearing right now. Right. So I discussed things with Aaron. I talked it over, and I think we've come to somewhat of an understanding. What we're going to have next week is I'm giving Aaron a tag team match against Joey and Tornado. Now, if Aaron can find a tag team partner of his choice, if he can find somebody, he's promising me he can find somebody. Then here's how it's going to go. The winner of that tag match, they are getting the tag title shots at seven. They're getting an elimination match. Whoever wins will get that tag. Essentially. There's, there's one, tag one tag title spot up for grabs. One match against Rough Cut. It's between those two teams, Aaron and whoever he can get, against Tornado Jones and Joey O'Reilly. One way or another, we are going to have a tag title match at seven. I think it's some awfully harsh statements by Joey O'Reilly there. I hope that... Uh, yeah. Well, he's, he's made his bet. He's got a lot in it. We've got a new number one contender. It's Mark Fandy. We're going to be back next week with a lot more, and a lot more on this road to, uh, to uh, number seven coming up on UWC Online. For the guys here, I'm Eric Lloyd. Good night. Yeah.